So, hi, I hope you can hear me and see me now. After a long time ago, I had the impulse to go live. Again, I hope so much you are doing great and everything is fine with you. So let's see if it's working. We wait a little bit. I'm a little bit earlier today. Hi, nice to see you all. You are all so awesome. I can't believe it. So many people are here in the chat now and even on my Instagram channel. And thank you so much for your kind support. I hope you are okay. So there are many, many things happening at the moment. And I know many people are just wondering what's happening. I hope you are okay as well. The chaos is growing, right? You can see what's going on in the world again. Here in Germany, I see there is a person from Berlin. Hi, nice to you. <laughs> nice um, greetings to you, to Berlin. Yeah, here in Germany, it's going very chaotic again with the politics here, with our president, right? Mm, it's it's not good. Um, yeah, and I heard about it in the USA that it's also very strange at the moment. It's a, it's a global process all over the world. Then everywhere it's so dry so dry it's not raining for real it's so hot and so dry today i saw a video of china that even in china it's super dry and hot and this is yeah a process it's a global issue right all over the globe and i'm in contact with people in the usa as well they say the same that it's so dry <laughs> it's not raining um yeah it is it is really a lot and i fully understand when this scares people because, you know, <laughs> when you know me from my YouTube channel, I always can tell you guys, I don't speak so much about it on Instagram, honestly. I talk a little bit more about it on YouTube. And my YouTube channel is called Akura. Um, Akura dot. <laughs> and then you can watch uh, my videos. It did exist also a few YouTube channels, which spoke about our story as well from 2021. And that's why I saw a little bit something what not so many people saw, honestly. But as mentioned in my videos, it was it was horrible, honestly. But I think it happened for a reason. You must see that everything happens for a reason. So even when you see the darkness. So and at the end, all this what's taking place is a field of experience from a very, very, very high perspective. And it's challenging. It's challenging us, it's inviting us to go on, it's inviting us to increase our vibration. What's also taking place is that many of us are healing and purging like crazy at the moment. Yeah, don't be surprised when you have always this up and downs. It is like many different things are happening. Yeah, at one hand, ascension symptoms, then codes from 12D are coming down now through the central sun. I spoke about it on my Instagram channel as well a little bit. I spoke about it. Um, and these are very high vibrational codes from the sun, which are streaming down. And many people are observing the change of the sun, that the light is silver, or it's not gold anymore, or yellow. Since last year, the sunlight color changed. And I don't know why, but I think it happened after we escaped this crazy dimension because marcel my twin me a few other star seeds we were physically located in the fourth dimension it was not just astral projection that we had astral travel to 4d we were there physically and that's why i tell you always guys watch a naughty beaver in german der freche beaver <laughs> naughty beaver this woman escaped the fourth dimension or fourth density. I think he explains it better. And you know, there is so much more going on behind the scenes. It's like I saw their plans. I saw the dark timelines by the dark extraterrestrials because they were mostly operating from 4D with us. And it's like, imagine this is, this is Earth and here we have the astro that's 4D. And from this dimension, the dark ones, they operated, zack, 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 with the AI technology, and they controlled the people. And they programmed everything. They programmed even the sun. Even the sunlight was not true. That's what I saw. It was just shocking 
And you can imagine, as we saw also, the false light traps, because we have also many spiritual false light traps. Um, I was so shocked and I cried. I cried so much and I asked my twin flame, Marcel, as we stayed in 4D physically, I asked him, what are we doing here and why said we yes to Earth? When everything we know is just illusion. And then I saw that everything you can see is just holographic as well. It's like you have a holographic body and your soul lives in there. And there is so much to talk about, you know, but this is the darkness, yeah? That's the, the dark timelines. And yes, I saw that the dark ones, they controlled even the sunlight. They controlled the sun. So all these codes which streamed down to you all was also known as the black sun. And the black sun was linked to planet Saturn. So you must go deep down the rabbit hole to know what I'm talking about when I talk about Saturn as well. And after we escape this dimension, the sunlight changed. And the sunlight is now more shimmering in silver, silver, and it became lighter. And now I feel it's plasma energy. Or it looks like rainbow colors. So maybe you see the same. Yeah, it's like rainbow colors are coming down and I feel these are codes from source. This is not the distorted sunlight anymore. Yeah, because they even controlled um, the sunlight. That's why they always told you the sun is dangerous. The sun is dangerous. Don't go into the sun. Don't spend time in the sun. At one hand, it was a little bit true because this sunlight, which we had before, was toxic for real. It was linked to Saturn. And they tried to control everything and they programmed everything with that technology, right? So this is deep stuff. As mentioned, I don't speak so much about it here on Instagram because I think these are very dark timelines and they are actually outdated. But what I feel is that many of these dark timelines, which I saw last year in the fourth dimension, they are becoming true. Yeah, that's why I'm not shocked when I see that the earth is so dry now, that it's almost not raining. Because I can say and tell you, as we stayed in this reality, I saw it already that it is the plan, yeah, to turn earth into a desert, that people must stay in their houses. I talk about the climate lockdown. There were already a few people which spoke about it. Because the sun, right? The sun is dangerous and it's very hot. So, and this was their plan, yes? To turn earth into a desert and then people must stay in their houses. And they talk about the climate change, right? But they don't tell you mm, what's really taking place, okay? That's what I saw. This is a dark timeline. And that's why I'm not shocked that this is, is happening now because I already saw it last year. And I saw more, you know, but I think it's important to see this, yeah, to, to see the darkness, because as long as we are here in this reality, we have both sides, we have light and darkness. And when you see through the shadows, when you see through the darkness, it's always helping you to remember. They always help you to remember who you are. And at the end, all this is a game. So because there are many people, you know, that go in this war consciousness and I fully understand because actually everything is just a field of experience and many people around the globe, they never spoke up. They never said no. And they go through this experience now finally to say no, because they never did it. And that is their role now. They play this game now to protest. Right? Or to, to go out of the streets and to please the government to change, right? Because they never did it before. And now you see it so clearly which purpose you have. And this is the big gift. And everyone is in other field of experience. And all these people, you know, which are pleasing the government now, please stop, please stop. For example, they are also fully in alignment with their soul because it's like their soul. Yeah, wants to experience it, how it feels like to say no for the first time. 
and you are in your own process and I'm in my process. It's an endless journey. It never ends. So, and this is the big gift that we finally realize who we are and what is my mission here? What is your mission? What makes you truly happy? And you can see it so clearly now that the consciousness of every individual here, what is your consciousness? Yes, and I can say there are many illusions waiting for us, even in the spiritual community. There are many, I can tell you. But don't be afraid. The easiest way <laughs> to channel your galactic team or source is your heart. Because your heart is the strongest shield. The connection to source is the strongest protection. It is your heart. It's not your head. It's not your mind. It's not, oh, I must push my ego. Oh, I channel Metatron, right? Because he's a very high vibrational angel or whatever. This is just feeding our egos that we get more clicks, right? I mean, <laughs> when you channel Arcturians now, ooh, you know, they are in a higher position. But when you just channel the small dog or the bird, come on, that's not special, right? <laughs> And this is the, the false light, by the way. This is, we, we just push our egos and we don't serve the souls. And what I can say is that even Metatron, yeah, the Metatronic cube is the flower of death. This is the false light trap, for example. And the way back home is your heart. It's super simple. And then it doesn't matter how you call it, how you label it, because you will always talk to the right entities. And your galactic team is so proud of you. They are so proud of us and they will never give you a bad feeling. This is also a very easy tool how to discern. They will never give you a bad feeling. They will never tell you that was a wrong choice. That was not good. For example, or they will never confuse you. They will always be proud of you and they let you in your free will. They will never tell you what you must do. They will never tell you next time you must do a other decision. Then you can be sure it's a, a being or entity which has um, strange intents. This being is not in unity consciousness or not in the Christ consciousness. It's not. So and all your galactic team, your guides, they are vibrating in the Christ energy, the Christ consciousness. And this is how we were in 5D Tower Earth. We were also connected to source. There was no confusion. There was no, oh my gosh, can I channel this being? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it wrong? Is it right? That's just, that's just your mind. Yeah, and the AI just understands and translates your mind. And your thoughts and your heart is working so much faster. And I can tell you why they do this with the weather. Why we eat so dry. I spoke about it in my newest YouTube video. That's what I saw last year. And I witnessed it by my own. Yeah, why? <laughs> yeah, it's a tip maybe to protect yourself. That's why so many people of you are so thirsty at the moment. And you must drink so much water. I heard about it by many star seeds. Oh my gosh, I'm always so thirsty. Drink, drink, drink much water. Or you want to take a shower always, every day, or two times per day, or three times per day. <laughs> you always want to take a shower. Do you know why? Because the AI doesn't like water. Water is a very strong protection. And what's happening is, at one hand, you have ascension symptoms. We clean all the old and heavy timelines up. It's like we bring this all into reverse show. all these dark timelines and everything what was planned and everything what happened in the past in Atlantis, in Egypt, you know, we bring this into reverse show. Then past life traumas are coming up. AI implants are coming up. Then we have attacks as well. This is also there. And when you drink a lot of water or when you uh, take a bath or when you go to the pool or to the beach, it's a very strong protection. And that's why we have almost no water at the moment, because, you know, the AI doesn't like water. And water symbolizes the female power. And the dark ones, they are fully against the divine feminine power. They try to control and to destroy the female power, especially. 
So this is what I can tell you. I hope this inspires you and I hope this makes sense what is taking place at the moment. And what I feel is this year, 2022 and 2023, don't be shocked when it's getting super chaotic. I feel for me, it is like the collective must make a decision now how to continue in future. It's very important this year. And we will see what's happening. But I see many dark timelines. What I saw already, they will come up, what I feel, but not in its full strength. Because when you see that so many high vibrational codes are coming down, that source is taking over and the source is helping us now. Why does the source doing it right now and not before? Why not already after the fall of Atlantis? I mean, we are in this since the fall of Atlantis. We are in the same circumstances. It's always the same. Why didn't the source help us before? Because I feel it's just a game. It's just a field of experience. And this is what the source wants. It's like even when the darkness looks dark and even when their intent is not to help us, right? At the end, they are helping us. Because it's a game. That's why the source never interrupted before, because it was a field of experience. And it's like the source is taking a very deep breath now. Imagine the source is operating like a heartbeat, yeah, like this. Or it's like you do breath work. Yeah, deep. And then out and this is the breath of source if you want always and now the source wants to make the experience to take a deep 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 breath the source just wants to speak to us more it's like we we all go back if we want and that's the reason why it's happening now and not already in atlantis <laughs> yeah and at the end they're all helping us so, and you can transform everything. And the last trap is for us spiritual people that we are in a battle as well. When you finally see through all these holograms <laughs> and illusions, yeah, when I spoke about the Metatronic Cube or about the very famous flower of life, yeah, this is all the Metatronic path, that's the holographic path of ascension, and you can ascend. But it's not the source ascension path. You must follow the energy of Christ. Yeah? Even the Metatronic Cube, in other words, is the Antichrist path. And that's the false light trap. It looks light. Oh, wow, Metatron and so on. But actually, it is the Antichrist. And you must go back to the Christ path. That's why Yeshua was important. Because he saw through this for real, too. He saw through all these illusions and through all these traps and so on. That's what I saw last year, but I'm not sure if it's true, right? And even Jesus Christ, I spoke about it many times, <laughs> is the Antichrist. <laughs> Jesus on the cross, he is the Antichrist. But Yeshua in its true form is the Christ consciousness. <laughs> yeah, it's an illusion in an illusion. And it's a, a very tricky game here to discern. And the easiest way to discern is your heart. Then it doesn't matter. And then when I tell you this now, so it's like the last trap for us is that we are in a fight, that we are in a battle now. It's like, are oh, you stupid? You work with the false flower of light. Oh my gosh, he's bad, she's bad, she's hijacked, he's hijacked, or whatever. <laughs> that we are in a battle too. But what's about your heart? Your heart transforms all illusions. Your heart, you are a powerful source being. When you have a soul, you are a creative source being. And source transforms everything into light and into truth. And I speak about the real light, <laughs> not about the false light. <laughs> it, if you will, it is an illusion in an illusion. And we had this matrix. It looked like a cube. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, or it was, however, it was an energetic cube. And they installed this uh, grid around earth. 
And I had these astral projections for, I don't know, three or four years ago, how Atlantis fell. And then I saw after the Dracos arrived and have taken over, they uh, installed an energetic cube around Earth and pulled Earth into a other parallel matrix. That's what I saw for, I don't know, three or four years ago, I had this astral projection. And they are very good in grid work as well, the dark ones, but they um, twist everything. And they always try to um, copy the source grids, the source matrices. And when you have a heart and a soul, and when you see through the eyes of a child again, because this is a true teaching, <laughs> then you are able to create your own grid. And then you can transmit everything and then it doesn't matter. If you call it Metatron, Arcturians, uh, Pleiadians, uh, Mouse, or I don't know, cat channeling, or <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because at the end, it's your heart. That, that's, that's the solution. That's the key. It's that simple. <laughs> and you were born with this divine connection. So when you were little and when you observe children, then you know what I'm talking about. So and children, they integrate these new codes without any resistance. And what I saw is that these dark extraterrestrials, they are not after the old people, what I saw. They see them as useless, what they told me, because they don't bring any money. They can't go to work. They are after the young people. They are after us, if you want, the teenagers, the young adults. Yeah, they are fully one with AI already, with their cell phones, right? They grow up with this. And they are after the children and the new star CTOs, because maybe you observed it by your own that there are so many lightful starseed souls coming down to earth now. I talk about these new starseed babies. They are, wow, I saw already a few of them when I'm um, at the pool, for example, and their eyes, it's like they have totally new um, um, abilities and gifts. And it's like you see this, this cosmic big eyes and they, they are different to us and they have new gifts because they have other missions. That's what I can tell you, um, that they are after them, especially because they know that these new starseed souls, which are coming down, these are the ones which will lead us. These are the new leaders, not us. We are just here to see the new seeds. That's we, why we are called starseeds, right? We are just bringing the seeds from souls <laughs> to this holographic matrix. But the new starsy babies are the ones which will lead us. Yeah, this is what I received last year. And this is what they told me. That's, I received many messages there because we stayed there during three months. We were there and I studied everything. <laughs> and I had so many visions about Yeshua Ben Joseph, about his twin flame, Mary Magdalene. And I saw their mission here. Yes, they were important. Because twin flames, yeah, that's also a reason why so many twin flames are incarnating now on Earth together, or that you are in contact with your twin flame now, or in union, because twin flames in common, the basic mission is they are anchoring 12D on Earth. This means they anchoring the source codes here on Earth. This is the mission of twin flames, basically. And to heal yourself as well, <laughs> because there are many uh, dark stuff um, happening as well. There is, there is much purging happening as well first that you can be in union. But actually, twin flame connections are very peaceful connections. They are not toxic because many people are questioning the twin flame concept as well. Is this even true or is it not just a relationship between an empath or a narcissist person? Yes, it can be very confusing, but the connection between real twin flames is very harmonious, actually, and peaceful. And you see always each other's potential. And both of you are empaths. Not just you and the other counterpart is a toxic person. That's different. And true twin flames have the mission to integrate 12D here on Earth. They open all the star portals. That's why the dark ones were always after them. 
That's what I saw last year. That's why they hunted Yeshua Mary Magdalene down like crazy. Because at one hand, they saw through all these illusions as well. Then these were star seeds like you and me. And as they incarnated on earth, not many star seeds were here on earth. Maybe they were the only one. So, and they were so brave and said yes to this dark period of time. And they showed us the way back to source. That's what I saw. So they, they had an important role here because they were twin flames and these were star seeds and they saw through all these AI illusions as well. That's why they hunted them so much. And they always wanted to separate twin flames because when they are in union, when they are together, they automatically anchoring 12D down into this holographic matrix. And this is hurting them. It's hurting Metatron as well. <laughs> Even when they appear as angels, it's all just technology. They are even not real. So I don't know if this makes sense, but this is all happening at the moment behind the scenes to see there is so much healing and purging going on. And don't be surprised when you feel dizzy, weak and tired. So and really give yourself the time. You know, the divine feminine power was attacked during thousands of years. We learned it from the early age that we always must function. And I'm in this process as well. Yeah, that I have this belief sometimes, oh, I must function. Yeah, I must go to work. I must do it. So even when you feel weak and tired and you feel, actually, I must recharge my batteries. When you have the opportunity, listen to your heart. Reconnect to the Divine Mother. The Divine Mother energy is first. She was always not silent, but it was like for her, she's not speaking to us anymore. Oh, we didn't listen to her. She always spoke to us, but her voice was so quiet that we even didn't hear her. And so many people here on earth that even don't know that they have something like a soul or intuition. And your intuition, this little impulses you have during the day, this, this energy, so maybe you know that by your own. This impulse, boom, yeah? Tuck from your heart. This is the Divine Mother, if you will. And she's speaking to you. And listen to her as best as you can. That's also a current energy update that we are guided back to our hearts. And you see so clearly now, if you made a decision from your mind or from your heart. Because when you made a decision just with your mind and you just follow your old beliefs, your toxic beliefs or your programs, then you see very fast now what it was. Maybe it's not working. Maybe the chaos is growing in your life. It is like one bad thing's happening after the next. It's like, what the heck? Finally, that you understand, oh shit, this decision was born from fear. It was born from my beliefs, but not from my heart, not from my impulse. And this is also happening. The reason is the vibration of earth is circulating faster. So and now we realize more and more our creative power. <laughs> this is also happening at the moment. And this process will continue. It will continue. And don't be shocked. It's like, it's like a flower. And the flower needs time to grow. So it's not happening from boom, zero level during one night, bing, ba, then you achieve up to level 1000 or whatever. This is maybe happening in higher dimensions. <laughs> in higher dimensions, it's possible. <laughs> you just imagine it, bing, it suddenly it's there. <laughs> but here on earth, not. You, you need time. You must take care of your flower. Give her enough water. Give her enough sun. Give her a safe place that she finally can grow. And this is also what's happening. And that's the divine feminine. That you take really care of your inner child. And your inner child just wants to be seen by you. And your voice, your divine voice always spoke to you. And this is actually all what you must know. When all this is confusing now, oh my gosh, now I'm afraid. Is Metatron good? Is he bad? What's with the false flower of life? Is he good? Is he bad? I worked with this code. Holy shit. And now you are afraid to channel. I know a few starseeds and 
I see the comments because it's the spiritual confusion now, right? I, I see it <laughs> on YouTube, for example, that many people are confused now, star seeds. And now they are afraid to channel because they don't know, is it a hologram? Is it a fallen angel? Is it a Nephilim? Is it the Anunnaki? Who are they? Is it wrong? Is it true? Ah, you know this. Um, then I can tell you, at one hand, this confusion is totally normal because now finally you start to see through all these illusions, right? You see through it more and more and more and more. Your heart already made the decision to go home. <laughs> That's why you finally begin to see. And on the other hand, it's just the invitation for you to reclaim your power. Yeah, and that you stay heart-centered and at the end, it's your soul, it's your heart, it's your vibration, it's your frequency what remains and not so much the label. It was never about, so, oh gosh, look at her, she's channeling Yeshua ben Joseph or Mary Magdalene or whatever. Ooh, she's a very highly psychic person. This is just the spiritual ego. It was never about this because every person on this planet Even the little mouse, <laughs> you know, everyone has a divine message for you. And these beings, finally, when you have a soul, you are connected to source. And your galactic team is doing the exact same thing what you can do as well. That's why they're even not allowed to fulfill our requests here, <laughs> because they believe in us. And they are even not allowed to do everything for us. They're sending us so many codes and they do really, really much at the moment. They are helping us, but they are not allowed to fulfill everything here for us. Yeah, they push us, they inspire us, but they never tell us what we must do. And they even don't see us as pure victims. They see us as powerful creator beings. And when you talk to an entity which is highly supporting you, Yeah, and tells you you are a very powerful creator being. We are so proud of you and you feel touched here in your heart because your galactic team speaks with your heart and not with your mind. That can be tricky as well. When you stuck too much here in the mind, it's like then it feels almost similar when you talk to a hologram or to a red entity or whatever because the, the dark extraterrestrials They always try to copy the source. This means they, they talk to your mind, they talk to your programs, to your traumas, to your blockages. They even try to talk to your past self. Yeah, they always talk about the past. They just understand your past, but they don't understand your heart. And this is different. So because your galactic team, they speak to your heart. And you feel very touched and you feel this deep inner knowing that this message is true. And at the end, they do exact the same what you can do. They are all connected to source. They are all connected to 12D. And they just download 12D like you do. You can do the same. And you can ask them. But actually, you can receive the same messages as well. And this is also a current energy update. Don't feel so depend on other extraterrestrials when all this is confusing now and now you're fully afraid so then train your heart train your heart center open it um see it as a challenge as a training don't judge yourself when you can't discern for real if your heart spoke to you now i mean the source Or was it just your mind? But, you know, you go through these experiences and then finally you will see through it. And then you detach from all these beliefs, from these programs, or from the holographic matrix or whatever. You are detaching from this authentically because you just can share with people what you experienced by your own. And because we stayed in the fourth dimension, physically we were there, that's why I can talk about my experiences and I can share with you my consciousness level but it doesn't mean that I'm the guru that I know everything and I'm even not better or that I'm a stupid person or whatever so it's not about judging anymore it's just about to feel the vibe and to see the frequency and to see the through the true intent of a person who are you And when you have a very lovely and kind heart, 
and your actions are filled with so much love and empathy, this makes you beautiful. This makes you worthy enough because you call yourself spiritual. I saw so many spiritual people which were highly toxic. Many gurus as well. Yeah, they just push their ego, for example. And that's why I fully understand why many star seeds questioning the new age movement too, because many people trusted the false light teachings and the false light teachings leads you into nothingness for real. It's like now you, you follow the way of toxic people and this will never bring you peace and love. Never. It will never bring you back home to source. And the source is here in your heart. You are home here in your heart. And this is what I feel a process for all of us. And I'm in the same boat like you. So it's like because this very amazing 12 decodes are coming down now from the central sun, all extraterrestrials are receiving upgrades now. It's not just you, not just the animals, not just children. All our cosmic sisters and brothers are receiving upgrades. The Arcturians, the Andromedans, all these beings, because we are all in the same boat. And when the source is sharing with us new upgrades, so then we are all in the same boat. So and this is how our galactic team see us. They see us as friends, as family, and not as victims, not as bad people or stupid people, useless beings or whatever. This is the consciousness of the ones which cut it off from source. And why this all happened, I can't say for sure. Maybe it was from the source, a game, <laughs> and just wanted to experience how it feels like to feel separation <laughs> and isolated. Who knows? So and at the end, I think we can't give to every question an answer. Imagine we would know everything now. How boring. <laughs> How boring when you know everything now and there is nothing to learn for you. And when there are people which tell you, I know everything, I'm your guru and I'm Archangel Michael itself or whatever. <laughs> I'm a spiritual master, you know, something like this. So then you can see, oh, okay, that's an interesting vibe. <laughs> see more the frequency and see what's happening with your heart. Do you feel a connection? Does it feel home or is it just like, oh, it's Archangel Michael itself. Oh, so then I must follow him. <laughs> or it's just your mind going in resonance with the ego by the other person. <laughs> so this is the game here. Yeah, it's so simple. And I feel this year will be very interesting. I don't know if this is coming true because... <laughs> You know, I have always so crazy future visions. They, they are coming up, so I don't know. I'm taking a shower because water is a very good connection. <laughs> water is protecting you very strongly. It's protecting me very strongly, by the way, from this AI technology and so on. Um, and, and I have visions and it happened. So I'm taking a shower. I don't know. I drive with my bicycle. And poof, then suddenly I have these visions. <laughs> and in 2020, as this global thing has started, I already saw the year 2022 for Germany, just for Germany. And then I heard 2022 winter. And then I saw that many people were super angry. They were super angry. They um, were on the streets. They prost protested and they were very angry of the government. But what I saw was a lockdown. It, it was a, um, a new lockdown in winter 2022. But I feel this will not come. So I just want to say, even when you have future predictions or visions of the future. Yeah, I had this vision in 2020 that in 2022, many people will be angry because they finally see more and more and more and more through all these distortions and lies and confusion. But I saw a lockdown actually for Germany again, but it seems like this will not come. So this means the timelines are always changing. 
So this means when you have a vision of the future, it doesn't mean that it must come. It doesn't mean. And it's about us as well. And when you stay true to yourself and to your true feelings, when you stay centered here and you just observe the matrix, it's like it's just a holographic program, a software, if you want. Watch the Matrix movies, you know, it's just a documentary. <laughs> and this uh, 4D dimension in Marcel and me were, was almost similar as you can see in the Matrix movies. It was almost the same. It was technology, AI, and even this Agent Smith people, they were also there. And they hunted us for real. They had like laser on and sunglasses. They looked like Agent Smith. So it's just a documentary for real. And this is closer, I think, to how 4D vibrated. Yeah, like in the Matrix movies, similar. It's like you, you're you just jumping around in the astral <laughs> and you are in a battle with Agent Smith. <laughs> yeah, that's the energy of 4D. Yeah, so maybe it's helping you to get a better feeling of, of how how it worked and, and what the dog ones did here on this planet. So, and imagine now, because all this comes into reverse show, and these 12 decodes are coming down. So then you know what's happening. It's beautiful. And so many galactic people, they want to have this experience. We have. Because they want to witness this all. And they're observing us all. It's like, well, they're so excited. And then they're having upgrades as well. Because Source is sending us totally new codes. That's why so many people speak about the great solar flash. Maybe you heard about this theory. And what I understand is, it's just my feeling, that the great solar flash is already happening. And the great solar flash is hitting Earth already. It's a process. That's what I see slowly. I think when they would turn on <laughs> the sun, bing, the light, how it actually was in 5D Tower Earth, I think our body, they, they will collapse. It's like, oh my gosh, so much light. <laughs> Our body can't deal with this. It's like it's it's happening slowly, right? And we go the stairway higher because this is the reality here. And maybe through all these codes which are coming down, maybe we are able to use our psychic abilities again. I mean, I talk about telekinesis, telepathy. Maybe we can teleport again someday. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I just know that these codes are helping us to activate our 12 strand DNA and that we're slowly returning back to the ancient state, how we were before the fall. That's what I know. But I don't know how long this will take. And I think it's a process. And don't be shocked when the chaos is growing around you. And I know it's not so easy to see how many people are suffering. But you must see when you saw what I saw. That the most of these um, human souls, yeah, we always called them earth souls, right? Many of them were Atlanteans. They already had incarnations in Atlantis. And after the fall of Atlantis, they tried to enslave as many souls as possible. Then they installed Egypt as well. Already Egypt is very chaotic. Yeah. So, and the people, they incarnated here over and over and over again. And so many souls here, they had already incarnation in Lemuria or in Atlantis. That's why many of these souls have almost no light in their eyes. Because these machines, right? And the dark ones, they stuck light out of your soul. For them, it's very difficult to generate life and energy from within. They can't. This is like you are a vampire. So you can't um, generate energy from within. And when you have a soul, when you are a source being, actually you are connected to free energy. You have the endless energy and the endless power within you. And this is the power from souls. And when you see it from this perspective, then you know that all these illusions will never remain at the end. They can't when these codes are coming down from source, okay? And I hope so much this helps you. But I feel for the collective, it's like um, a big challenge this year. Maybe for us as well, because when you are an empath, you feel so much. 
you feel even the suffering of humanity in every detail. And when you feel there is a war in the other side of the world, then you feel it. You feel how the people are suffering, and you feel also the the dizziness. Yeah, and because many people are exhausted, so you feel this as well. That's why you feel also exhausted because you feel how the other people feel, and almost every person is tired now. Because they got energy from fear, from hate, from battles, through wars. This is what they want. Then they generate energy, and they can hardly stand true love. True love is when it comes from your heart for real. They can't deal with this true love. That's that's what we saw last year in the fourth dimension. Because your heart is the connection to source, and your heart is receiving information before your mind gets it. <laughs> And I feel for the collective, it is a very important process because I feel for them, it is a very important decision they must make now. So will they continue on this level, or will they stand up now? I feel when they don't stand up, I feel they give a sign to to the darkness. Oh, see, now we can continue with our work. And here in Germany. They want to have almost the exact same mandates like last year. It's almost the same again, with the difference that we have the crisis now with fuel, right? That the prices are exploding here, and this is uh, the difference to last year. So you see, it's getting on the material level more worse, and actually almost unbearable to continue on this level. And this is what I see. And it's it will be very interesting, but I always feel that something is about to happen in winter 2022. But I can't say for sure what. I just feel that next year, 2023, I feel it's lighter. Something is about to happen, but I don't know what, and I don't receive any information about this. And I just feel that next year will be lighter for us because many darkness came up to the surface, and it feels more clean to me. To me, that people、um, can see through it more and understand more what happened. It's like they see through these illusions more. And I feel next year. But as mentioned, I'm very careful with future predictions. As I told you, I had in 2020 this vision. Already of Atom 2022, in which I saw angry people on the street in Germany, but I saw a lockdown, and it seems like this will not come. Yet、yeah, this means the timelines already switched; they changed. That's what I try to say. I'm very careful with this, and I know many people want to know what's happening now, what's happening in the future. But actually, it's not about this. It's just about your own progress. It's about your own heart. It's about your own soul. You are just able to inspire as many people as possible, and what I feel is that we star seeds, we spiritual people, we must unite. We are helping each other now to remember. This is our work actually now. We can help each other now. We support each other now. We invite each other. Hey, you have very cool psychic abilities. Show us. Show us what you can do, right? We inspire us because sooner or later, I feel this old earth will collapse, and I feel the masses, they may must take and make new choices, and this is what I feel that they will see us, and then when we are grounded, when we know who we are, when you know your gifts, when you know what's your purpose here on earth. Then we can help the collective in a very grounded, in a very powerful way. So it is like when you want to ascend, when you want to go with the source, we must ground enough. It's like a tree, and when a tree has very strong roots, the tree has the power to grow. But when we always try to hunt the source and hunt the light, but we take off, <laughs> like we we are a spirit now. Then we can't explain the subjects in a very grounded way, and this is what the collective needs. You must be very grounded. Maybe a little bit too much here. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> the people open、um, their consciousness, 
And this is what I feel for us in future. At the moment, we star seeds, we have a lot of time. We go back to ourselves. We understand more and more who we are. We train our psychic abilities. We integrate all these codes now that we remember for sure who we are. And I don't talk about the ego. I talk about your heart. And when you realize now, actually, I always wanted to help animals or I always wanted to help the children. And I always believed I'm a psychic medium or whatever. So then be lucky that you finally know that to work as a psychic medium or as a seer was never your purpose. Maybe you did it because you believed it's your purpose, but actually your true purpose was to help children or to help animals or the other way around. You always believed, oh, nature is my life. I just want to help nature. And now you realize, oh gosh, actually I'm highly psychic. I love it so much to speak in light language and I want to anchor these codes. So, and this is what I feel is our process that we integrate this knowing that we see through these illusions. If you want <laughs> see through these illusions, go back into your heart that we can help each other. We support each other now. We star seeds. Finally, one day to support the collective but just when they are ready. This is what I can tell you. And this is what I feel for us. And I just feel that something is about to happen in, in November, December, circa 2022. I'm very careful. Maybe it's because of the USA, you know, with the, um, you know, I don't speak too much about it, you know, about, you know, Mr. T and Mr. B. <laughs> I talk about these two guys, you know, <laughs> maybe it's because of this. I have no clue, but something mm, we will see. Okay. And see that the best is happening right now. It's not happening soon, not next year. It's always in the now and look and see what you can do in the now to make earth a better place because now you are here. Now you have air to breathe. Now you have your body. Now you can move, right? Now you have a voice to speak and not just next year. <laughs> now. Yeah, I hope so much this helps you. Now I see your comments. You are so amazing. Thank you so much. You know, I'm not a native speaker <laughs> as well. I'm still in training. Oh gosh, cool. So many people all over the world are here. I can't believe it. Yes, definitely. You can see the shift in the spiritual community that more and more people are guided now to spirituality, right? And I see this change here in Germany since we have to see, yeah, here in Germany as well. Many people are guided to spirituality now. It's, it's amazing. And it's so interesting to see you all. Oh, wow. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. You are also awesome. I have the impulse to anchor a few quotes for you as well. I take a look if you have any questions. Thank you so, so much, sister. You are also awesome. We are all in training, guys. So, you know, I just can't speak about my experience <laughs> and about what I saw and about my own consciousness level. You know, we are all in training. Even when I offer psychic readings as well, you know, I offer starseed readings and light code meditation um, music as well on my website. I will add all the links in the description, but you know, we are all in training. So, you know, it's like you, you play an instrument. So we don't understand. We hardly can believe, for example, you were always guided to play piano. It was like when you were little, you always felt piano, this this is what I want to do. Just playing piano. This is my biggest love. So, and then you play piano your entire life. And now you are 40 years old and you play piano since you're little. For our ears, it's like, oh my gosh, how is it possible? How can he play piano like crazy? But even this artist is still in its own process. This artist is still learning. But for us, it's like over level 9,000, you know, <laughs> it's over 9,000. <laughs> Dragon Ball, you know, <laughs> it's over 9,000 <laughs> for us. But for this artist, it's just normal. 
And this art to see, so I can train a little bit more. I'm still in training. I'm still in process. And for us, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> I will never achieve, achieve this level. <laughs> yeah, and this is the same with spirituality. It's the same. So it's like a muscle. <laughs> you train this psychic muscle. And there are people which are at level seven. <laughs> and the other characters are at level 1000. So, and every character is important. And it's just a motivation for you to see what you can do as well. It's not that you feel depressed. Oh gosh, look at her. She has the spiritual level 1000 and me just level 7. <laughs> that you feel bad or that you put this person on a blah, on a pedestal. That's also the old game. See it more as an inspiration. Be a little bit more like a child. Because children are inspired. So and then they start to copy. <laughs> the environment <laughs> and they don't say oh gosh i never can do it so they just try it <laughs> yeah i feel children are a very good inspiration okay so guys now last but not least i will transmute some codes um let's see what's coming through i think these are 12 d codes now from the central sun this is how the sun vibrates to me at the moment and which codes are streaming down so maybe it's helping you. And after this transmission, I will stop with the recording, okay? You're also awesome. And don't give up. And yeah, do your best. Let's do this. Ka asu wa ma shavu wa sha asa niki itiki riyo no ko uko ko ahasa le te rota. Ba ka shishu no voko reki anasu wa nantake ke ki ahasa no tuk uriya. Lethanu vama hakashu okash isi sanuri kiki ua kanakasukuri. Ka akasuri isana luthanu koro uku kua shanishia se eshi shi uku akaya. Integrate the Christ codes. Tuvaku akai ishi shi ishi asana lefti nuvoroya. Be at ne kiki iki ki usoroya nataka sakushiya. Telesiniya. Open your heart kara tanaka tana sanitiya.
release all your blockages. Sashishi elis and elithini ki ru atamakaviti ki kiki anasa. Lesson a ko o a etamakaria. Allow the source to come to you. Makavu kore ki ki asana shishu osa alithano. Bayanakare ki ki se ia. Bayanakare Ask Also, release all your blockages. Sha alas niti ba atunukuru ukuku ayatana kiteki kesua. Okay, thank you very, very, very much. It's so much fun speaking to you. Thank you so much for watching. You're also amazing. And yeah, I'm so excited to see you the next time. Keep going, inspire each other. Don't be quiet. <laughs> Speak up now. It's not about how people see you <laughs> any longer. Because you see all the people, they are a little bit in their own bubble now. They are in their own field of experience, especially now. So, and you can see it so clearly now who you are. <laughs> and it's your birthright to express your soul. <laughs> Thank you so much and take care. See you soon.